hi and welcome to my channel in today's video i'll be showing you how to make this beautiful patch dress this blouse was actually inspired by a kim dave tutorial where she made a maxi gown which was made with fabric patches as well okay so i'll be showing you how i made mine mine was actually made with adjustable straps and it is fully lined on the inside i did that because i did not have an overlocker to make the raw edges of the patches neater so i went ahead to line it i'm going to put the link to kim dave's tutorial in my description box you'll see an eye that will pop up somewhere above this video you can go ahead and watch her tutorial as well so if you're new to this channel welcome please click the subscribe button click the bell so you get updates when i post new videos and now let's dive into our tutorial so guys here are my fabric scraps that i'll be using to make this fabric patch dress so I'm just going to keep these scraps aside and we're going to be making our pattern. I'll be going with a four by four inch pattern. I cut this out on cardboard. So what I'm going to do now is to fold my fabric, okay? So I fold my fabric like this. I fold it again. So I'll be able to, you know, cut four pieces out at once. So after folding it like this, I just place the pattern that I have and then I'll go on to cut this out. So after cutting this out, this is what I have. So I'll go on to cut my fabric scraps to a total of 84 pieces, okay? And after cutting the pieces out, this is what I have. I have 42 on this side, I have 42 on this side, making a total of 84 pieces. So what I'm going to do is to arrange this now in a horizontal order. I'm going to be having seven pieces horizontally, okay? So I'm just going to arrange it like this. I'm going to be placing different fabric pieces, okay? So I'm having 42 for the front, 42 for the back. Okay, so I'll just go on to arrange it like this. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and then let's add the seventh one right here. So here is the seventh one. So this is how I'm going to be arranging it. I'm going to be making rows of seven of this, okay? So since I have 42 for the front and 42 for the back, it's going to end up being seven by six. So vertically, I'll have six. Horizontally, I'm going to have seven so there was something that kim dave mentioned in her video when making something like this that you should not combine you know heavy fabrics and light fabrics okay use um fabric scraps that are around the same weight okay so that is what i have all cut out here i will be sewing them like this quarter inch quarter inch quarter inch right here is a row right here is another row and right here is the third row so i'm going to continue like that till i have 12 rows that have seven pieces sewn up together so guys after sewing the pieces up together i went on to press them so it can lay nice and flat but since i'm going to be lining this i didn't bother to overlock the raw edges okay i decided to leave it like this so what i'm going to do is to now grab the front piece this set is for the back whatever i do for the front i'll repeat for the back okay so i'll take each one to my sewing machine now like this i'll be placing them on top of each other right sides touching i'll be sewing by a quarter inch i'm going to continue to do that for each of the rows of fabric that i have here till i exhaust it then i'll have one complete um, front fabric i'll repeat the same thing for this one and then i'll have my complete back fabric i've sewn up the fabric pieces and right here is the front the other piece is the back i've pressed it down as well so it lays nice and flat and we're going to move to cutting of our lining so guys what i'm going to do right now is to cut my pattern okay and i'm using a lining to cut my pattern because this patch dress that i'm making i'm going to line it okay so what i've done here was to sort of like mark this top line this top line is about five and a half inches um from my shoulder okay can you see five and a half inches here is my shoulder points i didn't want to draft everything on fabric because we're still going to cut that out okay so five and a half inches the length is 27.5 inches so what i'm going to do right now is to come right here on this line and i'll be marking my shoulder measurement divided by two my shoulder is 16 16 divided by two is eight okay and from that eight inches i'll come in some more by two inches you can go with one and a half you can go with two inches okay that's definitely up to you i'll come right here now what i'm going to do is to mark my armhole depth i remember i said that i removed um five and a half okay so i'm placing five and a half inches on this line so can you see i'm placing five and a half inches on this line and then what i'm going to mark is my armhole depth my armhole depth is eight and a half. I go with eight and a half or nine inches. So I come right here, I mark eight and a half, place five and a half on this line. I mark eight and a half, okay? And then I'm going to join it to have a straight line like this. 
whatever I have here, remember I removed two inches from my shoulder measurement divided by two. Okay, so I should be having six inches left. I'm going to come right here and mark that six inches. Okay, so after marking the six inches, I draw a straight line upwards like this. Then I'm going to mark my bust um, circumference divided by four and mine is nine inches. That six divided by four is nine inches. Okay, so I mark nine inches here and then I'm going to connect it to this point here with a curve. If you decide that you want to slightly, you know, curve out the neckline, by all means, go ahead and do that. So if I want to come down by half an inch, I'll just curve it like this by half an inch. You can go lower, make it one inch. That's definitely up to you. So guys, I'm going to come right at the bottom now. I want the bottom width to be as much as 12.5 inches on fold. I mark that here, then I add half an inch seam allowance here, okay? And then I'll add half an inch seam allowance here as well. And then what I'm going to do is to connect the seam allowances together like this. So we are sort of like making an A-line um, top. Once I do that now, I'm going to come up by two inches. You can go with 1.5 or two inches. So I'll just go with 1.5 inches or even one inch and come right here, mark six inches from the edge here. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is to do a slight curve like this. So did you see what I did here? I have my slight curve here. What I'm now going to do is to come right at the armhole area, add half an inch seam allowance to that, come right here, add half an inch seam allowance at the top. Okay, like this. So now that I've done all my markings, I will go on to cut my pattern out on my fabric okay after cutting guys i fold my fabric again then i place the first one that i've cut out on top and then i'll use it to cut out the second part so guys after cutting out our front and back lining this is what we have then i'll go on to get my fabric patch here is my fabric patch all pressed and ready to be cut into shape okay I'm going to get my lining now, and this is it right here. I have my lining here. What I'm going to do is to place the lining on top of the fabric like this, okay? You want to make sure that at least your, your lining and your fabric patch that you have cut out are around the same size or close, okay? What I'm going to do right now is to now use this fabric to cut out the shape wherever I have excess like this part right here i'll just go on to trim that off i think i have a little bit of excess somewhere here i'll trim it off as well okay so i'll go on to trim this second part and then i'm going to show you guys what we have the next thing i'm going to do is to place the fabrics on top of each other like so okay i place it on top of each other like so i'm going to sew the side seam by a half an inch seam allowance I will do the same thing for the lining as well. Place them on top of each other and sew the side seam by a half an inch seam allowance. After sewing the side seam of both our main fabric and our lining fabric, what I'm going to do is to turn my main fabric right sides out. Okay? So I turn it right sides out like this. Now what I'm going to do is to wear my lining on top of the main fabric I push the main fabric inside like this, okay? So you want to do this in such a way that the right side of your main fabric is touching the right side of your lining. So what I'm going to do after all this is done is to take this to my sewing machine and then I'm going to sew the bottom all around by a half an inch. So guys, while I was hemming the bottom of this um, dress i made sure to sew on hemming tape or hemming gum so that by the time i turn it over and press it down this particular place is going to lay very very flat okay so what i'm going to do right now is to bring everything you know right sides out so here is my lining here is the main fabric then i'm going to push the lining into the main fabric like this okay i push it in like this I, think I should turn it to the lining part so I can press it very well. So I turn it like this, then I'll go on to press the edge of this um, blouse, making sure that 
the lining doesn't stick out on the other side okay so that's what i'm going to do after ironing this is what it looks like can you see how flat the bottom is what i did at this point was to just stitch the neckline down together for both lining and the main fabric okay i stitched the armhole part as well so that by the time i'm using a bias tape it will be very very easy for me to stitch so i have my bias tape already made for my fabric if if you don't know how to make a bias tape, I have two videos. One, how to use a bias tape maker. The second one is how to use a cardboard to make your own bias tape, okay? So what I'm going to do is to first of all conceal the neckline. So I'm just going to place it like this, okay? I place the edge of the neckline in the middle of the bias like this and then I'll take it to my sewing machine and stitch down, okay? I'll do the same thing for both necklines. And then I'll come show you guys what we're going to do for the armhole parts. After sewing the bias tape on the neckline to conceal the raw edge, this is what I have. The next thing I'm going to do is to cover up the armhole and then add our straps. Now I'm going to be making this in such a way that I'll be tying the straps on my shoulder. I have a 38 inch long strap right here or long bias tape. Okay, this would form our strap and cover the armhole as well. So what I did was to mark the midpoint of the strap and that is it that you can see here i've marked it already okay i'm going to place that midpoint at the middle of the armhole that's where the side seam is okay so i'm going to place it there and then i clip it down okay what i'm going to do now is to take this to my sewing machine i'll be sewing from the middle point here all the way up like this covering the armhole okay and then when I get to this part, what I'll do is to just stitch the bias tape so that it is closed and then it will form a strap and then I seal up this end as well. Okay, I fold it in and I seal it up and stitch. So it will form a strap for this part, it will form a strap for the other part. And then I'll repeat the same thing for this other side as well. And we're practically done with our blouse. After sewing this up, this is what my strap looks like when it is tied. I wanted to do this um, tied this way so that it can be adjustable. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, kindly give us a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, turn on the bell so you get updates when I post new videos. And I'm going to be seeing you guys in my next tutorial. Bye.